I'm Roland right here at MWC 2017 and uh, I figured I'd try to find some interesting things for you that you might not have seen anywhere else and this is definitely one of them at least I haven't seen it anywhere else and this is the Samsung Veyron which is the W2017 it's a device that already was announced in November 2016 it's only out in China and look at it it's just crazy it's a flip phone basically that has the top specs of 2016 which means you basically get the hardware from the 7, um, Galaxy S6 or S7 in this case um, which means Snapdragon 820 in there and it's a quad core SOC with 2.15 gigahertz clock speed combined with 4 gigs of RAM 64 gigs of flash storage it has the same camera as the Samsung Galaxy S7 which means it has the 12 megapixel sensor on the back including optical image stabilization and f1.9 f uh, aperture on here you get the heart rate sensor plus the fingerprint reader from in this case Aegis technology because that's the company supplying it and that's also the company where I found this at MWC right here uh, you what else you get is you get this pretty good looking 4.2 inch full HD Super AMOLED screen on the front and on the back so this is a dual screen smartphone which is basically built in this flint form factor because Chinese people have this crazy system or for me as a Westerner it's crazy for them it's basically the regular stuff but they have to deal with a ton of different characters in a bunch of different languages and how you input them or there's, there's a ton of different or there's basically like three I think different methods of input you basically use the keyboard the T9 keyboard down here to put together English words or uh, words in Latin characters that sound like what you want to say in Chinese and then the Chinese characters show up on screen and you say, select these you can either do this through a regular keyboard or you can do this through the C9 keyboard there's a bunch of different ways of doing this and in this case this is for people who want to do it with the T9 keyboard it is a definite premium device because it's super high-end it's pretty expensive over there in China I think it costs around 3,000 yuan which is just over 400 euros and around 400 US dollars um, the whole thing is made of metal down here you have this T9 keyboard as I said you have a bunch of characters on here including the numbers there is your call recording for example there's VIP contact access this is the dial pad quick access this lets you shut it to vibration mode for example up here you have a quick access button for social media applications for messaging basically here's your back button this is the multitasking button and to the left of that is the home button you also get this pretty big d-pad which feels really nice it has a great uh, click pad uh, feel to it and it also has a circular pattern on it which is pretty interesting in this case up here is the 4.2 inch screen that's running at full HD resolution which is quite amazing because there's not that many devices that have full HD screens at 4.2 uh, inches there is another one on the outside I'll show you that in a second up here is your 5 megapixel front facing shooter right next to that is all the sensors and that is pretty much it on the inside let's go over to the outside because if you fold it down you can use it just like any other uh, touchscreen smartphone so down here you have the Android buttons there's a back button over here that lights up in the middle is the home button and on the left that's the multitasking and you again get a 4.2 inch screen running at uh, 1920 by 1080 with yeah just an AMOLED panel in there the whole thing is made out of metal it has a 2300 milliamp hour battery and it's got this glass cover on the back like you know from the uh, Galaxy S seriously basically on the let me see that's the left side at the bottom this is your volume rocker on the right is the power button but you won't probably you probably won't need that very often because if you flip open the device it does turn on the main screen right there I haven't found a headset jack on this because there doesn't seem to be any and if you look at the bottom there's only the speaker right here there's a USB type C port in the middle and your speech mic right there the whole thing weighs in at 208 grams which isn't very light but considering what you get it is still pretty impressive so yeah it's just been a very very quick and dirty look at the Samsung W 2017 also known as Samsung Baron here at MWC 2017